okay. I know. All right, so last week we was giving y'all a lot of, you know, different techniques on self-love and we wanted to, you know, give you guys our definition of what we thought self-love was and, you know, just to, you know, give you guys a little icebreaker video. So today we're going to focus more on self-love, but boundaries, because that's really important, isn't it, icebreaker? It's very important because if you don't place those boundaries, even though you are, you know, giving yourself that time and space for self-love, other people may not respect those boundaries if you do not place them. You so. tell them I sparkle. That's the whole point mm-hmm. of this conversation because you cannot be out here loving yourself and then when someone lets them come along, let them trump all over that self-love you built. You have to be consistent with your boundaries and you have to stand on them. So, you know, um, like for me, since I've started saying no. Because I used to be a yes person. I always want, I guess you can call me kind of a people pleaser. So one of my new boundaries is saying no and speaking up more for myself. I already speak up, you know, a lot, but like in in certain situations, I wouldn't. So at this point, I'm speaking up for myself and I am standing on my boundaries. And that's what this part of self-love is about. No, it's not about pampering yourself all the time. Sometimes it's about making sure you have your own set of rules that you're going to follow and abide by. I sparkle. Do you have boundaries that you have to set forth? I most certainly have boundaries. And why I say that is because um, I don't speak too much on it, but, you know, I recently had to draw the line, you know what I'm saying? On how I was being spoken to. And make it no, hey, we ain't doing all that. You know, it's certain things that you can do with me. You can talk to me. It's all a part of self love, but you cannot talk at me. That I feel like I'm being disrespected when you do. So that's a big one for me. And then, I mean, just basically treat me how I'm going to treat you, or even better. Because I'm going to try to outdo you just as much as you outdo me. Like, my self love, it can go pretty far. You know what I'm saying? But just know that. I'm not going to let you break any of those barriers that I set and and things that I've created for myself by trying to tear me down. I've been through too much for that. So big facts, because that's what people do. Like, it's like when people get in their little moves or certain ways, they want to they want you to still abide by their boundaries. But it's fuck your boundaries. Right. And the timid little turtle. I'm not that anymore. Like I have a voice and I use it more often than not. So, you know, it's very important when you're giving yourself that self love that people understand like the boundaries you've set, the things that you've done to build yourself up. You're not going to let nobody tear those down. Don't. And once again, be consistent. Don't say one thing to one person and then you have the same situation with another and you bring and you bend your boundaries. Don't do that. Keep it the same. Keep it play all the way through. Okay. Yes. Make sure that you assert those boundaries because ain't nobody going to do it but you. Now, back to saying no. Alas, I brought that up because a lot of us have the problem saying fucking no. We let people come in and we just, yes, 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 yes. Because we want to be nice. We want to be nice. Yeah. We can't do that all the time because what I realized that they can say yes to everybody, they say no to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, and that's but, okay. It ain't mutual. Fine. It ain't mutual. No. But it ain't mutual, so therefore now one of my boundaries is saying no. If I know you're going to say no to me, or if you have in the past where you know certain things, call it petty, but that's my new boundary. Hell no. Okay? Do I have the wrong boundary? I start. You have the correct boundary. Trust and believe. Like, saying no is a good thing. I had to learn that myself. It's not always easy to say no. You may feel like, you know, the the biggest piece of guilt for saying no but sometimes saying no is not a bad thing some people are used to you saying yes they're used to you being that yes person but you gotta learn how to say no sometimes for yourself you know what i'm saying because it may not feel good to you but it's good for you yeah you can't feed everybody else's soul and not your own so i don't know when to say no most definitely now um i'm happy you said the word guilt because hold on one second. I'm happy you said the word guilt because pretty much um, a lot of us feel guilty when we open our mouths and assert our boundaries. 
So I'm happy you brought it up because I was going to tell people when you're speaking up for yourself, when your boundaries have been crossed, don't be afraid to say the things that you need to say. Because I know for me, I'm always terrified. Oh, that person's not going to talk to me anymore. Oh, that person's going to leave. At this point, fuck that. Because if I can't express to you how I feel and you'll be okay with that, then we don't need to be messed up with each other. Not at all. Not at all. It's all about communication. And when you communicate, you want clear communication. You want positive communication. You don't always want to talk to somebody that's being negative and, you know, downing you because that's not going to work. That's not good communication. It's okay for you to say, hey, you did X, Y, Z to me and I'm not, I don't like that. So set your boundaries. Let them know what it's going to be going for, what it needs to be, or you're not going to be a part of it. Boundaries are about you, not about the other people that part and sometimes you'd be surprised you know the outcome may be different than what you expected because like I said I recently had to speak up for myself but the outcome that I got it was way different than I expected it was an apology instead of a a lashing back and then they realized yeah I did that my bad you know I'm sorry (laughs) okay I appreciate you for acknowledging the fact that you was being a never mind I said that last part again, one part, because my headphone was tripping. I say I appreciated them for acknowledging the fact that they was being a, never mind. Exactly. That Mm -hmm. is appreciated when you acknowledge that. Like, if you've been an a-hole, then please, if somebody Mm -hmm. calling you out, acknowledge that. And on to acknowledging, while we're talking about your boundaries, like I just said, when somebody gets mad and and they want you to still respect their boundaries and F yours, you still have to accept other people's boundaries too. Yeah. Don't set boundaries for yourself and then think that, oh, this is what it is. Like, you have to respect other people's boundaries too, okay? Because, and their boundaries are most likely different than the boundaries that you set for yourself. Because everybody's different. Yeah. So you never know. This person doesn't affect everybody the same way that it affected me in my past and my mentality. Be okay with letting people go. Yeah. So okay. you sometimes you have to. You they realize that you're just not that yes person or that I don't know how to put it, like that um uh, people that take your kindness for weakness type stuff. Uh-huh. When they realize they can't do that anymore, some people just fall off on their own. Some people you gotta let them go uh-huh. because they'll continue to bleed you dry. Knowing that you just there, you do you that's you. That's your part of you, you know what I mean? It's sad, but you've had, I mean, I've had to do it myself. And honestly, I feel much better, less drained mm-hmm. by doing it. It does. You know, it's, it's a relief. Mm-hmm. That's part of self-love, too. You, you can't let people drain you of any of your good energy. Like, if you if you do something and then you realize later down the line you're doing it, you're doing it, or just, I mean, being around someone, sometimes that can drain your energy you realize sometimes you do have to just let them go you know y'all not on the same type of time you tried but y'all not on the same type of time and it's okay it's okay positive people around you in order for your self-love to continue to work and grow so once you realize you don't have bad apples around you i ain't even gonna say nothing when you realize you don't have bad apples around you it's time to correct that. Get them out of your life. It's okay for, you know, it's just okay. I just want y'all to know it's okay. Here, yeah. We want y'all to know that everything here is okay. This is a safe space. It's okay to let people go. Some people don't want to be there anyway. They're just using you. That part. Leeches. You don't want them around anyway. And like I said, those leeches, once they don't bled you dry, they move on to another one. So you, they show themselves most of the time. Or they may show themselves... Or they may not. They may just disappear and come back when they feel like they can get you again. But you got to be that person to realize how it feels or how it felt the first time. Don't don't be like, fool me once, fool me. No, be, open your eyes the first time. Don't let it be a second or a third time. You know what I'm saying? That's part of self-love, too. You, you got to give it to yourself. For real. And I'm, I'm honestly getting up in the age where I definitely do. My time is, you know. These are my days. Shoot. Yeah, like I need to love myself. I need to detach from negative things. I need to make sure that I'm okay at the end of the day because I'm my star player. So if I ain't okay, then ain't nothing okay over here. 
No, and that's all a part of self love too. That that's protecting thyself. That's protecting your energy, your aura, your spirit, your everything. You know what I mean? So, for real, set those boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Know when to say no. Know when to close things off. Just do that for yourself. If you're wondering where to start setting boundaries, I guess, or how to start, is usually for for most people. If you ask me, and even for myself, is usually start is surrounding around things that you tend to have negative responses to. If that makes sense, <clears throat> set boundary. Like if you interact with somebody and you don't like how they interact with you, that's usually what causes for a boundary sometimes to be put there. Like if you don't like how your spouse is talking to you, you put up a boundary. If you don't like how you know just different things are going like even with your friends you have to have boundaries with your friends because some yes. friends are bleach friends like we were just talking about some friends don't even care about y'all friendship so they they just there for whatever y'all doing at the time you know what i'm saying so set your boundaries let them know what it is what it ain't because you're supposed to have real conversations with those people too because they're your family your friends are technically supposed to be like your family so if you can't have real conversations with them and be like yo I don't like that X, Y, Z. Don't say it like that. You know, be like, friend, <laughs> friend, I don't like how X, Y, Z went down. And, you know, from now on, in order for us to continue being cool, you know, we have to operate under this certain umbrella. But that yeah. should be okay. It should never be a fight when you want to express yourself to someone that you care about. Not at all. You should be able to speak your mind. You should be able to honestly speak honestly towards them. If you're not trying to be hurtful, you know what I'm saying? Be able to tell them something and they understand, hey, this da-da-da-da-da. If I'm your friend, I should be able to tell you that. Or honestly, they should be able to speak to you. But as long as they do it respectfully, as long as y'all got that mutual respect, y'all should be able to talk about anything. Anything. Big facts. Yeah. Don't make no sense to be friends with somebody. Mm -hmm. it's like, it's like, friendships is a relationship. Everything, Every time you connect with somebody, you have a relationship. So those relationships have boundaries, okay? You have boundaries even when you're not in a relationship, period. Just for yourself, you have boundaries. You have boundaries for yourself. If you think you don't, you do. But if you think you don't, then I, I advise you to get some for those things that you're trying to stop doing in your life. Okay? That part. Does that, that make, part. I, I Sparker said that part, so it made sense, okay? A lot of sense. <laughs> That's like, too you know easy. I, hey, I'm with you when you're right. Ooh. Asking for help is also a part of self-love because you know i feel like we can kind of we can move off the boundaries everybody understand boundaries hopefully you know set those boundaries but asking for help that's another part of self-love some people will be going through the worst and will not ask for help because they either don't know how or they just don't want to yeah they don't think it's okay that's not true. it's it's okay it's totally okay and help can come in many ways you could be asking for different types of it's okay you being you being man or woman enough to say I need help, that's step one. That's step one. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully the people that you go to respect you enough to understand, hey, that person love themselves, you know what I'm saying? Or or they, they wanting to do better or help themselves and, and they coming to you. And you got that person that you could li literally lean on or just be there, have that ear, that shoulder or whatever. Did I cut out? You did cut out a little bit. And a call. But yeah, hopefully they're that type of person that you're, you know what I'm saying, looking for that's going to be there. Hopefully you surround yourself with those type of people because that's going to help a lot. Yeah, they're rare, but it's some people that's there. So if you got somebody, then I guess talk to them if you can. You know, do some journaling. I always, I'm always talking to you guys about those journals. Get mm -hmm. you a journal. Start mm -hmm. off with the gratitude journal, or even if you just want to talk to yourself about your day, do it in a journal. Do it. You got journals on your phones. We got pen and paper. We got so many things we can get to write down or type something up. Computers yeah. are everywhere. At, uh, iPads, uh, tablets, everything. Get to yourself and just center yourself and sit down and, you know, write down some thoughts you don't have to be a poem we ain't asking you to get all jazzy with it just write down how you feel sometimes that's a start of getting help for yourself you need to write it mm -hmm. down or hear it or just hear yourself say something to realize you need help man that'd be like a breaking point sometimes just hearing you say 
something and you be like dang for real you know and then it's like oh my gosh like i need to you know do something about that or i need to change this or sometimes hearing yourself or seeing it down on pen and paper or however it's an eye opening it's an awakening exactly. so you have to um you have to be wanting to help yourself so that's why we want to have these conversations because again you know in our community we don't have these conversations a lot of us walk around thinking god is my therapy god wants you to get therapy just by the way fyi okay don't argue with me about that in the comments he does want you to get therapy he provided the resource for you didn't he so help you out with some therapy but start with self-therapy if that's what you need find somebody to talk yeah. to asking for help is not bad you can get help anonymously um we do need to start supporting seven cups like i keep telling y'all those are anonymous people that you can talk to for free they have therapists there too but you know you have to pay their coin but you know you can go on there and anonymously talk to somebody just period you can tell them whatever it is you need to tell them and you know please please just start taking better care of ourselves in our community and start taking better care of each other because yeah. we, don't take care, we don't take care of each other enough either Mm-mm. so we're not nope. up here just trying to you know blow smoke up you but we really want to open the doors to talk about mental health and no we're not therapists we're just regular people like you we want to continue to give our experience on our own from our own lives so right. that you can know people are going through it too sometimes it just starts with the conversation from a normal person i've been talked to plenty of strangers that have opened my eyes to more things than my own family okay Definitely. than my own friends okay so it's, it's okay just know that it's okay this is a safe space and if you um you don't want to look here we, we want to offer as much help as possible if you're looking for some self-help resources and stuff like that we'll probably find you some i ain't gonna say probably i'm gonna scratch that out we will find you some self-help resources if you want some self-help resources look here we we, all, we can help you find resources but it's up to you to use them okay right because this is serious that's why i like to come in here with no makeup on most of the time so i could be in my real yeah so I talk to y'all about down the earth straight straight all me you know stripped down ain't nothing hiding nothing it's us us and who <laughs> we're gonna come back next week with some more topics about mental health don't forget to like share and subscribe and always always set those boundaries use them that, that was the main point of tonight get your boundaries in order get your house in order get it together get your house in order and don't be afraid to ask for help however you choose to big facts don't be afraid to ask for help however you need it however you want we ain't even gonna go up in there like that but you, know you can what? tiptoe in and, and then stomp around later you know what i'm oh. saying however you choose to take the steps just take them and i just want y'all to know therapy is not that bad but i know some of y'all ain't ready for it but therapy is not that bad once you especially if you got a good therapist that know how to handle her his or her clients correctly and they're actually listening and attentive to you therapy is gonna be so wonderful and all you have to do is go and talk and use the tools that they tell you to use i'm telling you things will start to get better but it'll also start getting better by you helping yourself at home and that's what we're here to try to help you to do start at home because i know a lot of us ain't gonna just get up and go but stay next to the black you got anything you want to say love peace and have grace y'all stay next to the black and thank y'all for joining us